Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Samurai and Ninja video games. For this list, we're looking at the games that best fulfill that fantasy of being a samurai or ninja. Get your katanas and shurikens ready, this may get messy. Before we continue, we'll be doing a deep dive on this list's number one entry over on Mojo Plays, so be sure to check it out once you've finished watching. <laughs> Number 10, Shinobi Series. The oldest series on this list, the Shinobi franchise may not be as mega popular as Sega's Blue Blur, but it still managed to earn the respect of many players. In addition to difficult platforming and combat, the games manage to provide experiences that'll make you feel like a badass ninja. Whether that be through narrowly avoiding deadly bamboo spikes or taking down baddies while riding a horse across the valley. It really is a shame that we haven't had a new game since 2011, as a new entry, developed with a AAA budget or taken under the wing of a great indie studio, could be an excellent way to revitalize the franchise. Number 9, Onimusha Warlords. If you've played any of the classic Resident Evil games, then you have a good idea of what to expect from Onimusha Warlords, more or less. Yes, one could sweep this under the rug as Resident Evil gameplay with a samurai theme, but Onimusha Warlords does have a few tricks up its sleeve. As you acquire new weapons and absorb the souls of enemy demons, you'll be able to unleash different elemental attacks on your helpless enemies. Also, we'd be lying if we didn't say we have a soft spot for the campy dialogue and voice acting. Come on, you gotta love how absurd some of this sounds. <laughs> Flee while you can, you worthless bug! Number 8, Tenchu Series. <laughs> the Tenchu games have been juggled around between various publishers and developers, including a studio that made another notable samurai title, but more on that later. The first Tenchu game, Stealth Assassins, introduced players to a savage and dark world where one wrong move could mean instant death. It was challenging, demanding, and relentlessly brutal, and we loved every second of it. Unfortunately, not every entry in the franchise has been a stellar hit. However, if it meant getting a remake of Stealth Assassins, we'd happily take a kunai to the face. <laughs> Number 7, Total War Shogun 2. Sure, we've all fantasized about becoming an unstoppable samurai, but what about becoming a shogun? Why settle for being the master of swords when we could be leading armies of samurai? Well, those looking to fulfill that fantasy have found solace in Sega's Total War Shogun 2. On top of stunning visuals and challenging gameplay, Shogun 2's claim to fame lies in its historical accuracy, both in presentation and in how the AI behaves in battle. The developers consulted various historians to get the atmosphere right. This wasn't just a stimulating strategy game, this was a history lesson, and one that's still played years later. Number 6, The Messenger. If you loved Shinobi, then you should absolutely pick up The Messenger. When your clan is slaughtered by the Demon King's army, it's up to you to take over the role of The Messenger and deliver a scroll to the top of a mountain named Glacial Peak. Thanks to its unique cloud-stepping mechanic, which allows players an extra jump for every successful hit, The Messenger offers up a new experience to let players feel like a deadly ninja. Couple that with a fun upgrade system and some hilarious writing, and you've got the makings of an entertaining title. Number 5, Samurai Showdown Series. Samurai Showdown isn't just another 2D fighting game that expects you to deliver combo after combo after combo. Instead, it replicates typical samurai duels by focusing more on defensive play and making hits more lethal. There's more demand for patience and reading your opponent than most other fighting games, and delivering that fatal blow is satisfying every single time. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
The franchise's 2019 entry, Samurai Showdown, even makes its super moves cinematic in a similar way to Samurai Ninja films. So those looking for the thrill of a duel need to give these games a shot. Besides, just look at that blue-haired hunk, Yukio. <laughs> Number 4, Neo Series. While a lot of Souls-like games can feel derivative, Neo is not one of those titles. Yes, it has similar mechanics, such as a stamina, or in this case, key bar, but it distinguishes itself with the use of different combat stances, which becomes vital when dealing with certain enemy types. One stance may be racking up the damage, but if it's draining your key or leaving you vulnerable too often, you're going to have a bad time. Neo encourages players to mix up combat tactics throughout their journey, and it's that approach that makes the game worth your time. Number 3, Ninja Gaiden Series. Shinobi may have been the original Samurai Ninja game, but Ninja Gaiden has been the granddaddy of them all. Ninja Gaiden has been kicking our asses for decades with its relentless AI and dependence on quick reflexes. You can't just attack like a ninja, you have to move like a ninja. That even applies to exploration, as some of the games allow you to run on or kick off walls to reach higher ground. Oh, and if you're a fan of over-the-top action, Ninja Gaiden has that too. Please, Koei Tecmo, can we have a new game on Next Gen? Or maybe now? Number 2, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Yeah, not too long ago, we'd have been shocked that this isn't number one. But more on that later. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice was such a phenomenal game that we had to name it as our Game of the Year for Mojo Plays. It wasn't just for its unique aesthetics and ability to play as a sneaky shinobi, but the grappling hook provides a fast and thrilling method in traversing the world. On top of that, there are a wide variety of enemies that will test your mettle, whether they be colossal snakes or warriors that wield godlike power. Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Way of the Samurai series, for those who simply want to be a drifting ronin. Bushido Blade series, for tense battles where one strike could mean the end. Katana Zero, because katanas are even more awesome when time powers are involved. Sakura Samurai Art of the Sword, for a unique and beautiful art style. Skulls of the Shogun, for shoguns who like simple turn-based strategy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ghost of Tsushima <laughs> Deciding between this and Sekiro was a tough one. However, Ghost of Tsushima comes out on top because it offers you the option to experience combat both as a samurai and a ninja. Will you maintain honor and take your foes head on, or will you use stealth and kunai to bring the Mongolians to their knees? Ghost of Tsushima wasn't just another open world game either, it's a celebration of Japanese culture, complete with locations where you can compose haikus and even a filter based on Akira Kurosawa's samurai films. And as for that upcoming multiplayer mode, we're pumped to step into Tsushima once more. <laughs> If you want to know why we chose our number one pick for this list, head over to Mojo Plays and watch our in-depth analysis of the entry. Check the link in the description below. 